Well, hey everybody, this is Jason, Zombie Collector, and I'm going to do a uh, DVD, Blu-ray, and 4K Ultra HD haul, uh, not haul, but haul, uh, that I did over the weekend. So the first one was I went to a, um, a, a pawn shop, and guys, I cannot stress enough that pawn shops are like literally the key to a collector's world like if you are a collector or if you're using to, for buy and sell because first it's literally a crapshoot every time you go and if you have multiple pawn shops in your area then you're going to have more and more options to pick from obviously um on top of that is people who go to pawn shops to sell and not buy are usually in a pickle and they are going to take whatever the pawn shop gives them, which is usually well under what it's worth. So then the pawn shop, because they're not trying to make like a buku bucks on the items, they upcharge it, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I guess it depends. 20, 30, 40% off of what they paid. And that's it. Sometimes it's less than that. Sometimes it's more. Again, it depends on the item. But I mean, it's really reasonable. So this first little stack here. It's two Blu-rays and a DVD, and I spent uh, five bucks on it, two dollars a Blu-ray and a dollar for the DVD. And actually, I had a friend of mine who I had, he had a Blu-ray, and they just gave us that one for free. So, there you go. Um, but, so I'm going to show these real quick for you to you first, and then I'll get to the other one. But this is a key to learning how to collect, in my opinion, because, like I said before, I'm going to kind of, you know, venture into this world a little bit more and talk more about it it's something that most of the people who come to my channel originally you know know about but not really know how much i'm really into it because it's not a it wasn't a focal point so uh first up is the i believe walmart variation or cover for 300 so again guys when it comes to blu-rays and dvds but mostly slip covers slip covers are the key a lot of times if you have the slipcover with the original Blu-ray or DVD, if you're trying for resale value, it, it can make it go up considerably more. Obviously, being sealed with a slipcover is ideal. That's the number one way to have your uh, in your collection if you're just uh, collecting it or have one for your collection to open and one for your just to have sealed. I know people do that as well. Or if you're just looking for purely resale value, that's the number one. The second one, obviously is having if it's open it still has a, the slip cover so then we keep branching out there's different variations you target might have different slip covers best buy has slip covers different companies who do the releases might have variant slip covers sometimes you might not even come with a slip cover so you just have to kind of be aware but there's all kinds of different ones out there so this is the the i'm sorry walmart version the dvd or the blu-ray is the exact same one you would see a lot of people just have this because the slip covers end up going missing. I've heard a lot of stores because it takes up space, extra the slip covers. So they just take the slip covers in some stores and throw them in the garbage because they want more space for the Blu-rays or DVDs. And if you have, you know, you only can get 10 in because the slip covers, sometimes they throw them away so you can get 11 in or 12 or whatever. So you, I've heard them tell me that before when I go looking for them uh, at stores. A lot of times those are mom and pop operations or smaller stores. Walmarts and stuff probably don't do that too often, but it does happen. So the Blu-ray is nothing special. It's the same one. And most people, when they go to Walmart, Target, Meyer, whatever, they just, they don't care about a slipcover. They just get it, and that's what they see. They don't even know it even comes with a slipcover. So when it has a slipcover on it, for us collectors, it takes it to the next level. And then, like I said, there's a box sets, and there's special editions, and limited editions, and collector's editions. But if we're talking about just the Blu-ray... And if you want the slip cover, this is one of those ones that's more desirable. And I, they were, they, at the pawn shop, they had a couple different variations of different movies. Like they had the Hangover as one. But I grabbed this one right here. Because I I, the store I went to before this, I spent a little bit more money again. So this was $2. Uh, there you have it. Next up was, and this just came out like a week ago. This goes, to, this goes to what I was saying a moment ago. Pawn shops are sometimes the best places to go. They had just had this, not even... The 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 uh, the uh, the event was like a month ago, 
So I, I'm assuming this Blu-ray came out within a week or two, but it's WrestleMania 2020. It's already out. And I got this at the, uh, so here you have inside is a two disc special set. We got Kofi Kingston as it's a special card. And then you have, I guess, the um, um, possible digital code, but there's a two disc set on Blu-ray. So us wrestling fans, this is pretty awesome because I didn't, I had no idea. I just, I just reached towards it. I thought, oh, this is WWE. It might be cool. And I'm like, 2020? But yes, 2020 with all the different matches. I haven't seen it. And luckily for me, since I don't really pay attention to WWE a whole, whole lot, because I just really watch SmackDown, and that's the only thing I really keep on the track of, I'm going to have lots of surprises so I don't really know what's happening in this. So this is great. So again, $2 for this. For a Blu-ray double disc edition, not too bad. And then this is like the best, uh, this is the most exciting of them all because I've never re bought this because it's so impossible to find. And I got this for a dollar. This is a special uh, monster, the Universal Edition Classic Monster Collection of Creature from the Black Lagoon. This is a huge, huge movie. I Creech is what they call the monster, the monster from the Black Lagoon. His nickname is Creech. C R E E C H, um, but uh, this is the uh, you see it has some special features. There's a commentary on there which I've always wanted to hear, but these are kind of hard. And there's again these have coming out all different kinds of variations and box sets. But I don't have this one. I had like I had a Frankenstein, I had a Wolfman. Uh, I think those are the two main ones I might have had. Um, but Creech is actually my favorite of all the Universal monsters. I just love this movie. I used to watch it off and on when I was a kid because I just was fascinated with the uh, the monster in this. So, again, getting this for a dollar. Um, there's the disc. And one of the keys I should – it goes without saying, but when you go to a pawn shop, um, you have to look at the condition of the discs, guys. Uh, a lot of times they just take them sight unseen. So, you know, it looks like you can take it, some of these DVDs, Blu-rays, whatever. Blu-rays are a little bit more sturdy and durable, so it's not as bad. But with DVDs, um, it's like they'll take them and it looks like somebody took the DVD and just took the bottom of the DVD and just like scraped it across the concrete or like some like parking lot. And it looks awful. And of course, that, that DVD is not going to work. It's like it's all scratched up. It's probably not even going to play. But a lot of times the pawn shops don't care because they're just going to offer them 50 cents or a quarter. And then, like I said, because they're selling that DVD for a dollar. So, you know, they're only getting maybe 50 cents for it or whatever. So whatever a blu-ray is probably a dollar maybe you know because they're space they're you're buying it for two so you're paying 50 percent more or whatever that they had or whatnot um but anyways with that being said it depends on again what it is it might sometimes they have box sets and and um tv shows and stuff that they'll charge more for that but with that being said just make sure you check the condition of them because even if it's a rare dvd like that creature like the creature from the black lagoon you know, it's, it could be rare all day long, but then the disc is just pretty much like a Frisbee. I just wasted my, I wasted my dollar. So there you go. So next up is I, there's a, I don't know if everybody remembers the good old days when there was um, mom and pop video stores. Now they're almost extinct um, because all the big, big, big box stores ran them out of business like Blockbuster, Hollywood Video. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Like there was like Red Giraffe, Video Vault. Some of these are like somewhat big, but mostly like things like Blockbuster. Pretty much were like the WalMarts of the DVD and VHS uh, world for the longest time. We well, all went out of business because of streaming. Now, Family Video is one of the last companies around because they came out in the late '80s, also. And there's two of them in Anderson. Well, one of them went out of business. It's going out of business, so they're pretty much like fire sell. They're like coming in and just. Show us what you have, and we're going to work you a deal. So I have, I believe, 15 movies here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have 13 movies, and I got 13 movies, and I got the offer under $15, like $14.98 was my total. And you'll see that half of these movies are literally 4K DVDs or HDs now. So these are pretty awesome. The one downfall with rental movies, again, if you're getting movies that are from, you know, rental locations, which are becoming fewer and far between, are usually you're just going to get whatever the DVD itself or HD DVD or Blu-ray comes in. 
If it's a combo pack, there's a but they have like special feature discs. If it's a two disc collector's edition, you're not getting any of that. You're going to get just the disc itself with the case, the original case. Sometimes the original case isn't there either, and I won't buy those because I have to have the original case because I'm OCD about that. But I will let it slide for a dollar if uh, if it's missing one of the other discs. As long as it has the original movie and whatever special features are on that movie, then I'm okay with that. Um, because, again, it's a dollar. Now, if it was like four or five, six, seven dollars, I'm not doing that because, that, to me, I want the complete package. So, with that being said, just know and usually buy them at, like, the Hollywood videos. Or, I'm sorry, the family videos or any other place. A lot of times you're not getting all the discs with it. You're getting just the one disc with the movie. That's it. So that being said, the first up is a 4K uh, HD of The Greatest Showman. A little known fact, uh, the sunlight's coming in on me here now, so this is going to maybe be kind of wonky. A little known fact about me is I love musicals. I've never probably mentioned that. I was in uh, college and uh, high school and middle school. I was huge into theater, drama, music theater, and uh, I was in lots of plays. I did lots of um, off, uh, kind of like off uh, the stage stuff where it was mostly talking about like social issues, at, shockingly, and things like my high school. My high school was very progressive, so I was very interested in that at the time. And so I just love musicals and drama, and uh, my son, actually, Luca, loves The Greatest Showman. So again, like I was telling you before, as you can see, it has two discs here, but you're just getting the one 4K version. You're not getting the Blu-ray also. So, and of course, every time, I'm sure as you all remember back in the day, they do have to put their like logo on there with their barcode. So you always have that on there. So it, again, takes a little bit away from the original release because they put their sticker on it. So again, this movie here, the disc one comes with quite a bit of information on it as I'm the sun hits it. So this is The Greatest Showman for a dollar. Next up is Mile 22 with Marky Mark. You have here, uh, the, have you ever seen the movie The Raid? The guy who was in The Raid is in this movie, and it's absolute, he's absolutely awesome in this. It's kind of cool to see Asian martial arts stars get brought over to American release movies. Cause this is a movie is not a popular movie. Probably most people don't even know this movie exists. But this is an action-packed movie. Uh, Ronda Rousey, Roussier, I can't even remember how to pronounce her last name, but the MMA slash WWE superstar, as you can see her right there, Ronda Rousey, Ronda Rousey, all of a sudden has remembered how to pronounce it, Ronda Rousey is in this, and she's really good in this as well, but uh, the guy here, I can't, his name is Eco Uias, and I'm sure I might have mispronounced it, but he is in this, and if you ever watch the Raid movies, he is Literally amazing. This dude, I mean, Bruce Lee, I'll put him up against Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, uh, Jackie Chan, Jet Li. This guy is awesome. And to see him come over here and not, and he plays, a, I, uh, he plays, I don't want to give away his character, but let's just say he plays an ambiguous character because if you watch this, it's worth the watch for sure. Um, but a lot of times when they bring over Asian stars, like they did Jet Li, like Lethal Weapon 4. It's like he plays like the Asian Chinese bad guy and he's beating up on the white man and all this stuff. And it's just kind of like not a, it's not a fully fleshed out character and it kind of seems a little bit lame. Well, with Eco, he is like awesome. Like they treat him like just another actor who knows how to fight. So he does a BA. I mean, that, that's what I appreciate. And there's not a lot of like trying to make it mysterious because he's Asian. This is a serious Asian man or whatever. It's just like, this guy has a, a purpose, and his purpose is to destroy you. So I like that. Next up, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom. Great movie. I finally got a chance to watch it. A lot of people kind of crapped on this one, I think, but I really liked it. Again, you know, they keep they always make it try to make it bigger and better and bolder every movie they keep coming out with, but it's a great, great movie. Jurassic World. With Chris Pine and uh, Bryce Howard, Dallas Bryce Dallas Howard. Or how, what? How, how do you pronounce? What's her name? I can always forget. Bryce Dallas Bryce Dallas Howard. I was right. So there you go. Again, I'm not going to do a lot of reviews of the movies. I'm going to show you what I have. Next up is the remake, I guess, of Predator. But they call this one the Predator. 
to, I guess, give it a little bit of a difference. And I never saw this one in the theater. But again, this is the 4K HD. So you have this right here. And uh, is that Olivia Munn in this? Is she in here? Yeah, that's Olivia Munn. Wow. Usually Olivia Munn plays like the, you know, sex pot hot, you know, nerdy, dirty chick. Here she is with a gun pointing, I'm assuming, at the Predator. So we will see how that works out because as soon as you point a gun at the Predator, it's usually the end of your story. So here we got Ethan Hawke in the movie 24. Um, 24 Hours to Live, sorry, not the TV show with Kiefer Sutherland. But this kind of comes across like this was Ethan Hawke's uh, version of John Wick. And when you saw when I saw the trailer for this about two or three years ago, I was like, dude, this is like John Wick. Like this, I don't know if it's a poor man's John Wick. It could be just as good. I have not seen it, but uh, you, if you look at the back of this, you kind of get the vibe of this is like a John Wick kind of scenario. Uh, so, anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing it because the trailer definitely had that vibe of you know this guy is doing like some kind of revenge and he's out to kill anybody who stands in his way. Next up is Blood Wars. Underworld. I used to watch this. This series has been going on since two thousand and two or three, probably. I would say. I remember going to the movies and watching the first one, two or three films with my now ex wife because we both like these movies. And it's kind of like before there was Twilight, there was Underworld. So Underworld kind of ushered in this like quasi heterosexually challenged scenario where you have a zom a zombies, werewolves, and vampires hooking up and trying to kill each other and uh, using each other and all this kind of stuff. You don't really know what's going on. There's like a lot of innuendos, which is why I mentioned the, the, the statement there, because there's a lot of question marks on who's on whose side. But Kate Beckinsale, Kate Beckinsale is super hot. So I could watch her just read the phone book and that'd be fine with me. I don't think I've seen this one. I think this one I miss. I think this, they brought her back. And did, did another one. I mean, she has to be in her, I would assume, like her 40s at this point. She started out, I think, this series in like her late 20s. But again, I don't know if this is a complete this travesty or if it's actually any good. Talking about a movie that's probably not any good, but I can't help myself for a dollar. Universal Soldiers, Day of Reckoning. Well, that's right, guys. You have Jean-Claude Van Damme and Dolph Lundgren in this. And apparently... Scott Atkins is also in this. So I would assume Scott Atkins is the big baddie in this one, and they end up joining forces together un unwillingly to take out Scott Atkins. That's my impression. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Scott Atkins is brought to life to take out these two. They're the bad guys. I have not seen it, but here they have some kind of like Indian thing going on here. I don't know what's going on with that, but if you see this, it makes me look like it's uh, Last of the Mohicans or something. We got Dolph Lundgren and... Uh, uh, Jean-Claude, JCVD. So we'll see. For a dollar, I'll be your Huckleberry. Next up, Fahrenheit 451. I heard oh nothing but good things about this movie. You got uh, Michael B. Jordan along with Michael Shannon in this. Got the two Mikes. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be like Mike. So I'm assuming it looks like Michael B. Shannon is the bad guy and you have Michael B. Jordan being the good guy. He just looks kind of shady and untrustworthy in the, in the images here. I don't know much about it, but I've heard a lot of people say it's a good flick. And I'm always down for a good flick. And again, the price is right. So there we have this one. Uh, uh, there we go. Next up, uh, I, this one won some Academy Awards, I believe. And again, I could care less about that, but that just kind of says it has probably some pretty deep drama going on because that's like the only kind of movies that ever get any awards now is uh three border three billboards outside of ebbing missouri so you have uh in this francis mcdormand woody harrelson and sam rockwell i saw the trailers for these this movie you know three years ago when it first came out it definitely had my interest i like these actors definitely i'm a huge sam rockwell fan so, again, watching this movie for a dollar, it looks awesome. And I can't really spend a lot of uh, time talking about it because I don't know much about it. But I think something happens to her, like maybe a child or her husband or something. And she thinks that the police force aren't do isn't doing their job. 
So she, I guess, starts trolling them on the billboards in that town until they decide to get to work because she doesn't think they're doing their job. That's my speculation. Next up is the Kingsman. And this one's the Golden Circle, which I really liked. Again, we talked about part twos and part threes. It's always more wild, bolder, out of control. This one definitely has it on there. It's even, they, they ramp it up a bit. Uh, the acting in here is fun. It's a lot of kind of hokey stuff, but I enjoy it. And everybody just chewing up the scenery in this one. It's like James Bond meets John Wick meets uh, um, uh, Austin Powers. That's the kind of that's the best way to explain it. If you've not seen that, hopefully that gives you a good indication of what it is because that really what it turned. That's really what it is. Next up is Triple Nine. Don't know much about this movie, but I do like the pedigree of the actors in this one. Again, you got Woody Harrelson, got Kate Winslet, Norman Reedus, Aaron Paul, Anthony Mackie. Uh, Casey Affleck, and then Chai Whittle, Edge of Four. I always mispronounce his name, and I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sure I slaughtered it. But again, this looks like a good movie. Lots of great acting in it. It looks like it's some kind of, like, maybe police, like, who are dirty. They get caught up in their, get caught up in their own schemes, and now they're maybe turning on each other, or they're trying to protect each other, because the gigs might be up, so... Again, another one that's a uh, very quiet under the radar is Man of Tai Chi. This is uh, um, uh, all of a sudden, what, 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 what? Keanu Reeves, he shows up in this actually Hong Kong movie. Uh, this is right before the John Wick and all that kind of blew up. He kind of was in obscurity, honestly. People might not think that because of how big he is right now, but there is about a, I would say, I don't know, I don't want to say decade. But close to a decade where Keanu Reeves was kind of just floundering around, like after The Matrix. And, I mean, he's still making movies, but it wasn't to the degree of John Wick level. And this is one of those movies. He went to Hong Kong and made this movie, and he plays a bad guy. One of the very few movies that that um, Keanu Reeves plays a bad guy. But he plays a bad guy in this. He kind of plays, like, the final end boss. And I saw this years ago, and I thought, wow. I don't, I, I watched it. I didn't even know Keanu Reeves was even in it. I just saw because it's an uh, action movie, and I'm like, you know what, action movies, Hong Kong action flick, I'm I'm all over that. And uh, the guy, do the main guy's name's Tiger, Tiger Chin. There you go. You got Tiger Woods, Tiger Tiger Woods, y'all, Tiger Tiger Woods, Tiger Tiger Chin, y'all, Tiger Tiger Chin. So here you go, and uh, you can kind of get a vibe for. Uh, it was a very, um, it was uh, not quite Neo, but not quite Wick. He's kind of a happy mix between the two characters in this movie when it comes to his fighting. He wasn't doing any of the backwards bends and all that, but he was definitely doing his you know, more aggressive fighting style, which amps up for the John Wick movies. And then one final one, I didn't think I was ever going to see something like this again. I actually have this, but I couldn't pass it up because it's a rental. And it's from my favorite movie, guys. We just I just did a I just did a show uh, I just did an episode about this. Dawn of the Dead, man. This is one of the releases. So there you go. This is that special collector's edition, actually. Special edition DV Max. And it actually has, shockingly, the insert. I couldn't believe it when I opened it up. I was like, yeah, it's probably not going to have the insert in this thing. And sure enough, it does. So there you have it, guys. It's Dawn of the Dead. I got that for, I think, a dollar or whatever. It's unbelievable. I'm so pumped. This, the, the family video is open until, I think they said, until the end of this week, 1st of July. So I might try to go back one more time because I'm sure they'll cut the prices even lower. And I'll just go I'll just go in there with a big old cart and just go through and just knock all the DVDs and Blu-rays off the off the shelves and just buy them all. Because for that price, if that you know, you can't lose. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I know it's 25 minutes of awesomeness. Most importantly, because I'm in it. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you think I did. What were the highlights? Let me know about your experiences. Why, when you, if you do these kind of things, if you buy movies, using flea markets, going to pawn shops, going to Goodwills, going to yard sales and garage sales. If you have uh, an idea that I don't know about, let me know. You know, um, obviously, let me know what you think. And if you've seen some of these films, what do you think? Uh, what were the highlights? Which ones do you think? Oh, those suck. You should have bought it. That was a that was a waste of a dollar. Let me know. So until next time, guys. Peace.